Hey traders, I'm Ivan Lugado, Max as commentator at the Global Prime Brokerage Firm. In this video, I'm going to be touching on how to set up alerts through TradingView. So let's dive straight into it. Did you know that TradingView, the platform that now Gold Prime is fully integrated with, can save you tons of time by notifying when it is that the price has reached the level that you were waiting for? What that means is that you don't really have to sit on the sidelines and wait for hours for that window of opportunity when an entry setup may come about. By setting up alerts and depending obviously on your style of trading, you become more time efficient and pragmatic in when to determine possible opportunities. Now, the way that you set up an alert is as follow. You need to first send the order to execute that alert. And for that, what I recommend is that you first grab either a horizontal line or a trend line and place it in the main chart in the exact location that you wish that alert to be triggered. So let me give you an example. Let's just say that the Australian US dollar is now going to be continuing this correction from the bottom and we want to be setting an alert just ahead the 0.75 round number. So let's just say 0.7490 or thereabouts. So first of all, what I'll do is I'm going to be placing that horizontal line in the chart. Now, Following that, what we need to do is we need to right click and select add alert on horizontal ray line. Now, you do not want to uh, fiddle with this very first few sections and that includes Australian US dollar regular crossing here. You, got, you actually have options to set up the alert in different variations like crossing, crossing up, crossing down. In this case, we just want the alert to sound to be triggered once the price crosses that line. Now, you also got the options of the alert to actually be triggered only once. So one unique event, you can actually have it triggered once per bar, obviously depending on the time frame, that's going to be more or less frequent and so forth. Now, one of the options that I absolutely recommend is that you download the TradingView app. You have it on your phone installed. You sign in, you enable push notifications and you select notify on app. That will automatically send the alerts straight to your phone. Now, on top of that, what I like to do is I like to have this option tick, show pop up. What this will do once again is that not only the sound will be triggered, but also you will have a pop up notification, which is very handy and obviously will, will minimize the risk of you missing that alert. You also have on top of that other, I guess, more complex uh, options like webhook URL or sending the alert through an email, which I don't find particularly interesting and also when it comes to the sound you got a bunch of options okay so uh, you can experiment with all of them and uh, on top of that it is important that you bear in mind the following whenever there is an alert you have the different type of options when it comes to the uh, trigger mechanism you can have it a trigger only once uh, lasting five seconds lasting 10 seconds so i would suggest that uh, you extend the sound for perhaps five seconds or 10 seconds that will guarantee that you're not going to be missing that alert again feel free to select both the best sound and the best variation in terms of that sound extension now once you got everything set up what you want to do is click on create and you will notice once we've clicked on create that there's going to be a little uh, clock type icon that gets to be placed on the left side of that technical indicator in this case the horizontal ray and that will confirm that the alert is active now once your alert has been activated you have the option to check absolutely all the alerts that have been set up so far by clicking on this right hand uh, sidebar, the second icon, the clock type icon or what they call alerts. If you click on it, you will notice that I have a bunch of alerts that had been triggered in the past. You can always delete those alerts by removing all. So that will actually also 
even remove the one that I just created. So let's just once again, real quick, set up this alert, create that clock icon appears. And once again, as you notice, this new one has popped up in the alerts column. So this will be very handy because you can always check the full list of active or trigger alerts uh, via this right hand side bar by clicking the clock icon. And if you wish to clean up and, uh, you know, start from scratch new alerts, you can always come up here, these three dots, and you can either restart all inactive, stop them all so that whichever you had set up and activated, now you can stop them, keep them inactive. So there you have it. This is the way that you go about setting up alerts. Hopefully this video has been instructive, educational, and if you have any further requests in terms of topics that you'd like me to touch as it relates to TradingView, please reach out to me through the comments section below. Cheers.